My name is Katie, and today we're going to be talking about vermicomposting, specifically building your own vermicomposting bin. Vermicomposting is using worms to break down uh, produce and any or other organic matter. Um, this is what we'll be using today. Um, this is a drawer system that you can purchase at any of your box stores or hardware store or maybe you even have laying around your house. And this is a great project for this time of year uh, because it can be done completely indoors and then they can also be kept indoors. It is important to choose a dark or at least opaque container for a worm bin because worms naturally live under the soil in the dark. Worms will naturally tend to avoid the light and burrow deeper into the bedding to move away from bright sunlight or artificial lights. This system is intended to be kept indoors so the worms don't need the extra depth to burrow to regulate their temperatures as they would outside. The worms just need enough bedding to move around in and have their food shallowly buried. For this bin, we are using an organic potting mix that contains peat moss, vermiculite, and perlite. The peat moss holds water while remaining aerated and fluffy, and the vermiculite and perlite provide grit for the worm's digestion. If you choose a potting mix, avoid any mixes that contain added fertilizers or chemicals. You can also use cocoa core, which is a fiber from coconut husks, newspaper, finely ground wood chips, or a mixture of any of the above. Avoid using soil dug from a garden as the main bedding media. Vermicomposting worms can be bedded in a variety of different medias. The most important thing to remember about any bedding is that it should provide and hold moisture, have good air pockets, and be non-toxic and digestible for the worms. Shredded paper is an important part of any worm bin. You can use it as the main bedding material or mix it into other bedding mixes. Paper holds moisture, provides air pockets, and breaks down well. Any kind of paper will work, but avoid shiny or heavily inked paper like magazine pages. Red wigglers are the most common and versatile type of worm used for composting. This is a small system, so I purchased 250 worms, which is about a quarter of a pound. Red wigglers can eat between 25 and 35% of their body weight each day in the correct environment. Red wigglers like to feed near the surface, so they do well in shallow containers. Make a shallow trench at one end of the bin to bury your food scraps. Each week, add new scraps next to the old trench and work your way across. Vermicomposting bins are a great way to get rid of food scraps. Worms can be fed almost any fruit and vegetable scraps, including leafy greens, carrots, bean pods, apple peels, banana peels, and other fruit rinds. Avoid onions, citrus fruits, meat, dairy, and most cooked foods. 